Welcome everyone, this is Zahn with Repo Products. Today's video is on a user request on how to create Revit families from 3D AutoCAD blocks. Here I am in Revit 2019 and I want to be able to create a Revit family because the end user isn't experienced yet in creating families but they do know that they have a 3D AutoCAD file to work with. How do I do this? I'm going to head over to a website, for example, Steelcase, and we'll pick on a product, maybe a type of seating. And a lot of manufacturers, by the way, will already have their software and all of their products um, updated so that they are built in 3D format. And in this case, for Steelcase, <clears throat> they already have 3D AutoCAD models, but they also have Revit files too. So let's just assume that for this example they don't have Revit, they just have 3D CAD files. So we'll head over to their library and we'll download their file that they uh, give us to work with. So let's just pick this one right here, click download and we'll pick the 3D file to download. It's downloading. And the first thing you want to do is open up that CAD file and take a look at it to make sure that it looks the way you want it to look. It might be um, oriented differently. Um, it may have a little bit too much detail that is necessary for you to build the family. So it's always good practice to download the CAD file and look at it first. Clean it up and then you can start using it in your family. So let's let the AutoCAD Architecture 2019 software start up and let's take a look at that 3D file. Alright, so now that we have the 3D CAD file open up in AutoCAD Architecture, we want to take a look at a couple things. One is the orientation. So right now I'm in a 3D, 2D, uh, 2D wireframe, 3D view. So if we switch to say hidden or shaded or shaded with edges, we can get a better idea of what it looks like. We want to head over to an orientation such as top and verify that that's correct. And then also things like is it the left side or the right side? Um, and then look at your UCS to verify is it the orientation that we want. In this case, it looks okay. Uh, if you need to, you can purge the file just in case there's content in here that's not necessary. Uh, we're not trying to build a, you know, a complex Revit family. We're just trying to use what we have to bring in and just make a generic dummy uh, Revit family. So now that we have it um, purged and cleaned up, we save the file. We get out of AutoCAD. And then in Revit, we'll start a new Revit project. And head over here to Families, say New. And the first thing you want to do is look at this dialog box and pick a Revit family template file that makes sense. In our case, it's Furniture. So I'll select Furniture, Revit family template file, hit Open. And you'll be presented with multiple views and the top one being ref level, top floor plan level. And there you go. So now let's go ahead and insert that CAD file. Head over to the insert tab of the ribbon. Head over to import panel and click import CAD. We'll go get our CAD file. The CAD file for us is stored under the downloads folder. So for the sake of ease, I'm going to head over to Windows Explorer and I'll head over to my downloads folder and grab that CAD file. I'll copy it to my temp folder because I usually do a lot of work in my temp folder so I can delete it later. And now if I head over to my temp folder within Revit, I have the CAD file. You want to single click it. Don't double click the file. Single click it because you need to double check the options that are down here such as current view only, um, preserving the colors, layers, uh, importing units, the positioning and so on. Set it to what you need. When you're done, click open and it should come in. Once it comes in, <clears throat> take a look at where it's actually positioned because this reference plane and this reference plane both have defined origins as checked, which means the intersection here is the insertion point of that family. And in this case, that's it. that's okay. If we need to, we can move it so that the center of this uh, chair right here can be down to here. So we just use the move command and we'll move it. And it doesn't have to be 100% exact because we're not building a true 100% Revit family. Okay. Now if it says this error here that says you can't move it because it's pinned down, when you select the family, you'll notice because I placed it as 
origin to origin it pins it down automatically the icon for pinning is right here it's a little hard to read but you can always click this button up here to unpin it or click the icon so now that it's unpinned I can move it exactly where I need so I'll pick here and pan down and pick this intersection of the reference planes so now it's exactly where I want we can look at it in the 3d view and verify it looks okay if we set this to shaded it'll look like so so how do we use it in a project start a new Revit project like say for example architectural and then we can control tab on our keyboard back to that family and click load into project it'll get loaded and you can place it so let's do place it right there in space and we'll also create a floor just so that you can see how it behaves with and without a floor so I'm going to select that chair type in CS to create similar and place one and it highlights the floor so if we look at this in elevation we can see that the family is loaded it looks okay for use we can switch it to a different visual style and we can see that the first chair is hosted by level one and the second one is hosted by that floor slab so if I move my level designations a little closer and we adjust the height of level one to say two feet higher everything moves up if we select this floor and push it up two feet using properties you can see that that chair right here is still hosted by that slab and this is still hosted by the level so that's how we create a 3d Revit family from a 3d AutoCAD file in a simple way without having to get deep into how to build the family properly thank you very much for watching